I'm going to show you how to build a Django app that colorizes black and white images. Here's what the final product will look like. And you can just see, and I'll also show you some of the really cool output that we've got with these old black and white images made much more realistic by adding color. So let's get into it. Here's the written app we'll be working with. And there's some, if I just scroll down, there's a really nice output that I've got as a result and you'll be able to make using the app. So I've just created my virtual environment and then we're going to copy this to create our app. So here's our virtual environment and then we're going to paste in this to install the re relevant packages and create our app into our terminal. Okay, complete. And here is core and then the name of our app, which is Sim as usual. Now we're going to add Sim to our installed apps to register it. There it goes. And I'm going to cancel this by the way. Okay. So now we need to run Engrok. So what we're going to do is we're going to call from our Django app an external server, which then colorizes our images. And then when that's done, which will be a while, it then sends a webhook back to our Django app, back to, to an endpoint that we'll create. That request that the external service will send is called the webhook. But the issue is that our local development environment, in this case, this laptop, is not on the, exposed to the internet. So we need to create what's called a tunnel whereby an external server on the internet can hit that gateway, if you like, and then go to our server, our local server. It's quite simple, but to do that, you need to run some software to do that. I'm gonna use Ngrok, which is easy to run the tunnel. So download and install it using that link. And then I'm using Mac here, just one command and you sign up, add your auth token, and then you can run this to start the tunnel. And so, but I'm actually gonna run this one. So I, cause I've installed it already. So you need to install it. Come here, run Ngrok HTTP 8000, and there you go. And you can see that's the, we can actually go to it. Yeah, oh, this is a nice little feature to check requests. We might show you that in a second. But this is the, that's where it's forwarding it to on our local server. And then this is the tunnel. That's the externally exposed URL. If it sounds complex, don't worry about it. Well, it's quite simple and just, yeah, give it some practice. Okay, so now we've got that NGOG running and it's running in the terminal there. We'll leave that running. And now we're going to create our replicate account, which is the AI service we're going to be using do the colorizing. I've already done this as well, but let's go to replicate.com and then you can see lots of things there. And then in terms of creating a new, you, you'll just go to go to your API tokens and then create a new token like that. And I've already got one here and I can copy this, which I already created. So very easy. You may need to know, I think there's a free tip. And now we want to add our webhook URL and our replicate API. So what Angrok gave us and then what the API token from replicate to our environment variables. So we're going to create a file called .env and then copy this in core. So let's just minimize that. And then in core, create a file called .env. This is standard practice. And now we're going to paste in our webhook URL, which is running here. So this one for me, yours will be different because these are created randomly every time you restart ngrok and and then replicate api token and this is you want to be a little bit more careful with this i will delete this afterwards because this is your password essentially so people could come in to replicate and create a huge bill if you wanted of ai services now we're going to add this to our settings file to load the environment variables when we restart our server so let's paste that in here and get rid of that python that just snuck in and you can see we've got these, we're replicating that there, so that's fine. Great, and now in core settings, we also need to add our loud hosts and then our ngrok URL, but exclude the HTTPS at the start. So let's go back to, let's just copy that. Go down and then search here for, oh there it is in fact, allowed hosts, paste those in, and then we wanna paste it in our webhook URL I've listed there the Eng from Engrok, but exclude that HTTPS colon slash slash and add it in like that. Oh, no, like that. Good. Okay, now we're gonna create the Django app. So we'll copy this and create a model here for our generation that we're gonna do. So go into models, 
paste this in, generation, great. Note that secret key, I'll come back to that, and then the before URL, after URL, and then we create on our database by making the migration. So go into terminal, create a new terminal, and then there you go. You've created the migrations and created a little database, which you'll see pop up there, there it is. And now we're gonna create our views. And let's copy this in and then I will explain. So go to sim and then views and paste that in. So the question here is how can we ignore, so we've got, we're, gonna, we're setting up this endpoint, which the webhook is gonna call from the public internet. How can we stop people calling that randomly and messing around with our database? Because we want to take a call from that external AI API, in this case, we're using Replicate, and then do something to our database to update it to say the job is finished. But we don't want unauthorized people to do that. So it's quite simple. We're going to set, you see here, we're going to set a secret key whenever we create it. So let's go, I'll go back into the code here. So this is going to render an HTML of all our generations, which you'll see. Then when we submit, we're going a new image to colorize. We're going to start the generation, take that image URL, and then create a random secret ID, which we then save to our generation object. And then that's the key part, because then we get this. This is the webhook that we're creating. So we're saying this is the endpoint to the, that we want you to call after the external function has run to generate the color image and then that's just it compiled. And that's then we send, we then call the model ID here, replicate, with, give, tell it to call this afterwards and then give it the input image URL. And then this is gonna be for polling to check, we'll come onto that. And then at the end, this is what's gonna receive the request, not from our server, but from the replicate server. So we'll come in here and we'll have the secret key here from the URL, which we've put in here, in there. And then we get get the get the body, get the data out of the webhook, get the output image, which is the image that Replicate and our color model, colorizing model will have generated, and then get our the generation object that we created, and then check with the secret key that we've given. So each secret key is unique for each generation, and that, this means that if anyone calls it, firstly they need to have the secret key. They won't know that, so they can't get in. Yeah, so that's the security. And hopefully, as you can see, it's quite the few little parts there, but it's quite neat. And it means there's, we, yeah, it's quite efficient. So explanation over on that part, let's get back to it. So we've created those views. And now we're gonna create the template here to, to, to display all the generations. As you can see, it's quite big. And I'm gonna copy that. And then we go up, and then we're gonna create a folder called templates in Sim. Templates and then a file called generations.html here. There we go. And as you can see, there's styling here, and then there's a, a form here using Alpine.js to add, which is very easy. I've got other, uh, multiple other tutorials on Alpine.js, so check that out if you'd like to see it, which is really nice of adding JavaScript likely to your Django templates. What's gonna happen is that this JavaScript will send the input black and white image URL to the start generation, view that we saw, and then we begin that process that I explained. Then it's gonna poll, and so it's gonna have 30 attempts, one a second, to check that the generation that we've got is completed. Yeah, very simple. And then we display the generations there. So enough explanation, let's update our URLs. So copy that, go to core URLs, paste this in to route to sim, and then we're gonna copy this and then create sim slash URLs here urls.py to route, and these are our th four routes. Okay, now we're gonna run our server with Python manage.py run server. Here's a little preview of what we'll look like. Okay, and Python manage.py run server, visit. And this is the default image that we can just click. Great, submitted, and there you go. That is the image, so if we click on that and click on that, this is, that's the original, which is very cool on top of, I don't know, somewhere in New York. And then this is the colorized image, which I think is fantastic. So I've got this as the default image every time, but let's, I've got some other images here, list of them. Let's add this one, paste it in, sub, click submit, and then it takes a little while to submit, but, and now it's submitted it and then replicate. It's been very quick and then has colorized it and then sent back to our webhook 
And that is our after image, which is cool. A little more sepia than I would like, but there we go. And if we go back to our app, you can see here, this is, if we go to our views in particular, we are printing the return from the webhook data. And this is the data that replicates that sent back to us. So that's our input. And then this is the output on hosted on their site. And as you can see, it took four seconds to do. So that's it. Here are some more that I have to mention that I made earlier, and you can produce some really amazing images with this. But as you can see, this involves AI generation and then shows how to use webhooks as well as using them in the browser with NGROC, which is a nice technique to learn. I imagine you might have some personal photos, black and white, perhaps of your relatives or grandparents that would be awesome to colorize. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, link to my mailing list for all the free content that I'm making regarding Django and as well as my product, Photon Designer, to build Django front end much, much faster than before. Besides that, I'm making more Django content weekly. Here are a few more videos of mine. All the best to you.